Hello and welcome back to my channel. So thank you very much for everybody joining in today. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rehouse but it's still also a part of my update. So of everything that I've recently bought over the last few months I'm going to go through that and just show you all an update on how they're getting on and you can follow it along in the series from then on for each individual species that I've got. And today it is this one. So as you can see it's a Chilobrachis species electric blue. It is just down there at the minute. Um, I'd probably say about two inches, maybe a little bit more, I'm not too sure. I've only seen it run around a few times. But it can stay in this enclosure for quite some time, so another couple of molts. But I'm getting absolutely annoyed with this one because not the, the tarantula, just this enclosure. Because it's a heavy webber, as you can see it's webbed up and it's raised up right to the side and this side as well this part in the middle where there's a leaf there it seems to web from there up to the lid and on this side up to the lid and every time i've got to slide this off that way it's connected with magnets makes the t jump so when i go to feed it never feeds straight away it has to reset i have to take the lid off and leave it there for about half hour 40 minutes then come back and feed and it seems to reset so I want to get it out of this one and put it into uh, an Exoterra. Uh, it's going to be a lot bigger, but I'm going to put a load of stuff in this that can web up, give it more room. Plus I want to put sticks higher up to see if I can give it some height to see if it'll actually web up a bit higher as well in that enclosure. But with the Exoterras, you've got the doors so you can open up and then obviously get in and I'm not going to disturb it, which I think would be better for it now going forward because it's molting quite fast at the minute um, due to the heat that we're having. But um, yeah, I can use this enclosure for something else, something more terrestrial where it's not going to be something as a heavy weather. And I've got something coming in the next couple of days as a Father's Day gift from the kids and the stepkids. And I'm going to put something in here and I've got another one of these. But I think that one, the lid opens up this way. But I do like these. They are nice and clear, but just for a heavy weather like this, so you can see how it's webbing up the top. I just keep destroying the web. So without further ado, I'm going to get in. I'm going to catch this one. Probably won't film myself catching it because I just want to make sure I get it so it doesn't dart off. And then I'll obviously show you when I rehouse it. Okay, so that's the finished article. So that's my Exoterra. Loads of substrate, dry at the bottom and then moist on the top so it can pick where it wants to go. But it'll eventually all dry out because it's a Chilobrachis, doesn't need it that moist. Got a water dish in there as well. Loads of leaf litter. Little tiny beasties and that running around inside there. But loads of branches and twigs, as you can see, going across. So there's absolutely tons of anchor points. And this is sturdy, so it's not going to collapse. Got little ones in there as well. But I've also done a cork bark over and a half. And then done a chamber going at the back, just to see if it'll run in there to feel safe at first. Because what I would love it to do is cocoon all of this out in a channel because if you've seen one of my previous videos with my Saratoga Starlingia I did a similar thing and wanted it to do that it took about three to four weeks but it actually did it so I'm going to do that in a future update and I'll show you that one in a big 30 by 30 exoterra so I think this one to be plenty of rooms to hide it'll probably do like webbing over here webbing over there but at first what it would do is either hide in there and then do a little bit of webbing around here for a couple of weeks and just stay around there. Then it may do a bit of webbing over here. Then you'll find it'll do a bit of webbing over there. And eventually over time it'll start linking them all together and it'll have channels everywhere. So that's what I want is the idea of it building up web everywhere. And it's just got massive uh, tunnels connecting for when it grows. So I think that looks rather good. So now let's try the tricky bit and get it in. Okay, so there is the Chilobrachis, and I managed to get it out, absolutely darted everywhere. And I know when you see it here, let me just take this lid off, see if I can keep it there for a second. Noise. There you go, you can see the blues already. Um, turned around, went into threat pose with me. Um, it's about, I would say it's two inches like that, even though it doesn't look it, but when it, um, spreads its legs that was even bigger but this enclosure is quite large for it but i've done it with a previous one if i show you saratoga starlingi and it is now started to do the cocoon and it is in there living absolutely fine exactly where i wanted it so i'm hoping that this one would do the same there and this one's more prolific webber so it shouldn't take long for this one to start webbing this one should web up straight away 
See if I can get this one to come out. It's probably just going to dart off. Come on. Blues. No idea if this is a male or female. Legs are quite slim, but I've learned with the Aquila brackets it means nothing having the skinny longer legs because I had a female that was the same and I kept thinking it was a male and then it got to a certain size and just started to get chunky. But these don't get as big. Come on. There you go, you can see it's a lot bigger than what I said. It's uh, two and a half, almost three inches. Come on. Quite chilled now. Just remove this. Ooh. And now we have Oh, camera. There we have it, you can't really see, but I reckon it'll either do a web up there to start. It'll probably explore once I turn the light off and then hopefully it'll go down and start doing the chamber from down here and starting to web up on top of all of these, which would be absolutely amazing. So what I'll do, I've got it in, I'm gonna let it chill, give it a couple of days and then I'll come back and show you if it's done anything at all. Okay, so this is what it's done so far. So you can see it started to web up at the back, all over the back there. And it's actually, if I can see it, it's dug a tunnel underneath that log at the back and it's done webbing all over the front, all down there. And then it's done webbing all down here. And you can see it's dug another channel right round the back. So it's building a massive chamber. And it is now literally there at the second. You can see the blue legs on it at the moment. So it's in that corner. So I think that's pretty good. So I knew it would do. It would do it literally everywhere in the enclosure, but just take its time. So it is doing exactly what I've wanted. So that's very, very good. So imagine what this is going to look like in a few months time. This is going to look absolutely awesome. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.